that the White House released a six-page summary back in February. I don't think that was a full accounting necessarily. Um, and Dr. O'Connor in that memo described the president as, quote, a healthy, active, robust 81-year-old male who remains fit to successfully execute the duties of the presidency. I think that is clearly not what the majority of Americans are seeing. Uh, and we have a new poll from CBS News that says 72% of registered voters say the president does not have the mental and cognitive health to serve as president. So are you saying uh, that the majority of Americans are misguided and that they just need to trust Dr. O'Connor and take him at his word? So a couple of things, and I want to say the president is feeling better, uh, and you saw him last night, you saw him today, but he does indeed still have a cold look. I, you know, I, I, I want to be very sensitive here, and I think it is important to be sensitive here. We understand how the American people are, are feeling. We get it. We do. And uh, we, I do not want to take away from that. I'm not going to speak. I, I, I know that there was, uh, you all did a poll, CNN do, did a poll. I'm not going to speak to um, every poll. I'm just not going to do that. Uh, and I, also, I'm, you know, constraints in, in doing that as we're heading into, uh, heading, heading into an election in November, as you know. Uh, what I will say is majority of Americans also support the work that the president has doing in a sense of the, his agenda and what he stands for, what he's been fighting for, whether it's reproductive rights, uh, whether it's an economy that works for all. Uh, and that is something that the president is going to continue to do. And this is why we have said, and I have said this multiple times from here, is that's why the president acknowledges. We get it. We get what Americans are feeling. That's why he's acknowledging he's not a young man. That's why he's acknowledging he's a little slower than he used to be in, in, in walking and, and not as smooth as speaking. We get that. But we also want to make sure that we point to the successes that he's had, his record. And we want to continue to build on his unprecedented record. And I'm not going to discount uh, what the American people see or feel. Uh, what I can say is what we know from our side of things. We could speak to his record. Uh, and we could speak to what the president has been able to acknowledge. And I think that's important, too. And that's basically acknowledging what Americans are seeing and feeling. If you get it, why not release more about his medical, his physical and mental health? We, why not? What we have released has been very comprehensive. It has been. It has been transparent. Uh, and if you compare it, right, it has. We have put that out there. And, uh, you know, and we'll continue to do so, uh, put that information out there. You know, and MJ, I, I want to be very clear. I get the question that you're asking me. But this is also a president who has had a historic administration. He has, in delivering on legislation, key policies. That is because with age comes wisdom and comes experience. And I think that matters as well. Did, did Dr. O'Connor watch the debate? I believe Dr. O'Connor traveled with us to the debate. So, so. Did he have any concerns after seeing the president? No, not at all. Not I have all. one more question.